Hi, everyone. This is Charles Hoskinson broadcasting live from warm, sunny Colorado. Today's August 2nd, 2023, and I wanted to make a quick video to uh, talk about something that's taken the world by storm, but it's actually a great example of good science. So what I'm going to do is share my screen here, and what we're going to do is kind of go through something. Uh, so present, share screen, entire screen, and here we go. Wow. Okay. So superconductivity is a very important concept. For over 100 years, material scientists have been chasing materials that are able to act as superconductors at higher and higher temperatures. So if you make things very cold, like really, really cold, like close to absolute zero cold, they, some materials start developing superconductive properties. So if you've ever had an MRI, uh, they have liquid helium, they cool the magnets and it allows them to actually do their MRI magic. But quantum computers, fusion reactors, there's all kinds of things that should we have a superconductor, uh, we, uh, we'd have a major innovation. So there's this lovely video, Map of Superconductivity from Domain of Science, good channel. And what he does is, uh, he actually has this beautiful diagram and he goes through it piece by piece. And actually, I think he's got the final product somewhere. Anyway, is section by section. So what I'll do is I'll link the video here for you guys. And I'll kind of explain what is superconductivity, why is superconductivity interesting and awesome, uh, and why it would be the biggest single invention since the birth of the transistor. So this is the paper that started the conversation. These guys in Korea, uh, they published the first room temperature ambient pressure superconductor. Okay, so pressure from everyday environment, temperature from everyday environment, superconducting. This would be instant Nobel Prize. You notice there's three authors. There's up to three authors win the Nobel Prize if they publish something like this. So this was clearly a paper written to be first to market. There's a patent apparently that's been filed. A little bit of controversy behind it. Whether this is real or not, What's important is the process. So what's happening real time with the Wikipedia page is uh, that people are talking about replication attempts. And this is really the most important thing about science and the scientific method. And it's been completely lost by modern scientism, this cult of scientism of trust and authority. In science, it doesn't matter if you have a PhD or not. In science, it doesn't matter if you're at Harvard or not. Your reputation doesn't matter. Science is an observational field. A claim was made. And the claim here in the paper basically says something that would change all of society in the 21st century has just been created. They have a recipe inside the paper for how to do it. And they basically gave their results. So what's happening real time is groups all throughout the world in China, the United States, Australia, South Korea, and others are starting to attempt to replicate it. And you'll see, okay, a video shows diamagnetism of a small flake, no diamagnetism observed. They had high resistivity, no consistent with superconductivity, structure confirmed by X-ray diffraction, diamagnetism not observed. And so some people are having success in replicating it. Some people aren't replicating it. Why? Because it's very possible that the formula here in the paper is just a little off, kind of like the old school martial arts instructors who hid certain secrets so you couldn't completely do it. But other people seem to have been able to replicate. And some theoretical studies have been done that show some confirming evidence. But the point about science is science is about replication. So you make a claim and you leave enough trails in the design of your claim for a person to be able to replicate it. And if they're able to replicate it, it's good science. This is the process. And it was just so exciting to, to see this real time happen because, you know, we live in a world right now where everything is opinion. Everything is, do I like the person? Do I not like the person? You know, uh, this is what most people do in science these days. They look at these guys they say, where the hell are these guys from? Uh, okay, well, yeah, maybe that's a decent university. I don't know anything about this group. Okay, I don't know. Oh, it's MIT. They must be real. Okay, it's good. But that's not how science works. This is how science works. There's a recipe here. 
We followed it. Could we replicate it? It's the job of the guys who wrote the paper to talk to the guys who are doing the replication work and to basically give them the full recipe and help them through so that they're able to actually get the same results. That's the social contract in writing a paper like this. Now, because there are some very prominent, very serious organizations like this National Laboratory right here and uh, Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, uh, it's going to get done. And probably in the next um, about five days to 20 days, these results will continue to trickle in. And we should have before the end of August a definitive statement of whether these results are replicatable or not. But the point is, that is the scientific process. Now, getting into the cryptocurrency space, it's the exact same concept. You have protocols and formal methods and claims about TPS and performance and these things. You have to provide evidence, and that evidence should be inclusive. And what I mean by that is you can verify anything that's claimed by the other party. So if somebody says a certain TPS rate, you can run that node on your side and replicate that, or else it's not real. So that's how we get away from scientism in the cult of trust the science. You have to have the ability to be able to conduct the experiment or at least know of a third party who can independently conduct the experiment and verify the same claims. It's just so cool real time to see this. And it's so cool to see this happen where they're actually directly trying to replicate as opposed to, I don't believe it because such a thing's not possible. Let's go follow the recipe and see what happens. It's pretty cool stuff. Anyway, let's keep following it and hope for the best. Cheers.